Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today it is time for my monthly palette ranking video. This is for all of the palettes I used in the month of March. Now, if you're new here, some of these palettes are new things, new releases that have come into my collection, and some of them are older things that I've used this month, and we kind of stack up the new against the old to see uh, what's the best. Are the older things better or the newer things better? Sometimes you'd be surprised, and I am too. So, if that sounds good to you, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, if you have not already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I upload videos twice a week. It is totally free to subscribe, and I would love to have you back again on the channel to chat with you in the comments about all things makeup. So I only used six palettes this month. Who's surprised? I am. I think that's the smallest amount I've ever used in a month. And I think part of that is because I have really been trying to zero in on my deck of panning project. I'll leave a link to that playlist if you're interested in seeing it. So I've been using like the same palette of like many, many times instead of normally I would just kind of like pick around a whole bunch of different palettes throughout the month. So it's, it's a shorter list, but like that almost made it tougher because we've got all indie brands and there are no bad palettes in this bunch, you guys. They're all good. So whatever's the bottom, it's not that it's bad or I don't like it. It's just something had to be at the bottom out of the six. That's just how ranking works. So let's go ahead and start with number six, the lowest. It's from Nomad. Can you believe it? It's the Land and Ice palette. Um, they just finished their retirement sale for this one. I'll leave linked the video I did with the look on this if you want to see it. If you have it, pull it back out. But they have officially retired it, and I think it's gone now from their site. I don't think you can get it anymore. Here's what it looks like. I really enjoyed the look that I did with this palette this month. It wasn't anything bad. Like, the other stuff just I liked better. The shimmers from Nomad, I've always said and felt other than the Tokyo palette, are okay. Like they need a glitter primer to really pop. Now I will say, I did feel like the shimmers in this one were better than some other ones. So there is that to be said about it. And, and I did like the look. So I don't know, I think it just comes down to maybe color story and preference for this time of year in this month. Not a bad palette at all. Really do like this one. Um, it's not in this month's ranking, it's in last month's, but I do want to say too, if you want the uh, Paradise Islands or Island Paradise, whatever it is from Nomad, they're now doing their retirement sale for that one this month and then it will be gone. So I'll leave my video linked from that palette as well, but that's about to be gone if you're interested in something from Nomad. In number five from Gourmand Girls is the Haunted palette. Now, this one I think I just ranked lower because I'm honestly, I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a little tired of it. I hate, I'm the same way with food. I hate doing the same thing over and over. I want to mix it up. I don't like to eat the same meal two meals in a row or even two days in a row. I don't know why I'm like that, but I'm like that with palettes too. I hate using the same thing too many times in a row, even if I like it. I like to mix it up. Um, I'm like that with all categories of my makeup. I just get like bored really easily. So this one is stunning. It's wonderful. There's not a thing wrong with it. I think I just ranked it lower because I'm kind of tired of it. <laughs> and I still don't have my 10 uses out of it for my deco panning project. And yeah, so it's it's fine. It's good. It's better than fine. It's, it's great actually, but um, I think I'm just tired of it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than that. And it is a little bit more of like a darker, grungier story, which I love, but I have been wanting to do more like neutral slash spring stuff lately, and this doesn't fall into that. So I think it's just a time of the year usage thing, nothing more than that. It'll be in next month's ranking as well, because I do need to use it more in April to get my uses for that project. Number four, I really like questioned myself when this was in four because I was like how can it not be higher I love this one so much the Nomad Tokyo palette I really think this one has to go to Tokyo with me when I go this summer um here it is if you haven't seen it this is also discontinued but pull it off you have it these are the amazing shimmers I was talking about these are the best shimmers Nomad has ever done in my humble opinion I haven't tried every palette that they've had but I have a lot of them um, and this is more the springtime vibe that I like. I think the only reason I didn't rank this higher is because a lot of these are satins, not mattes, and it's not my favorite formula. It's fine. I really like some of those for blushes. I love the packaging. I love the cat embossings. I love everything about this. Um, I think the other palettes either just had either more shifty or more sparkly things than this one, and that's why I didn't rank it any higher than place number four. In number three 
from Glaminatrix, the Nearly Natural palette. This one has been on top a lot of times last year, but I think I think maybe it's finally been dethroned, you guys. It's still wonderful. Um, this doesn't have anything shifty, but it is so sparkly. It's probably my favorite sparkly shimmer formula. Now, it's not my favorite shimmer formula of all time. That belongs to Adept Cosmetics because I, that has a very specific, they have a texture that I really love. But this is more sparkly. If you want something that looks like really fine pressed glitter but is eye safe, this is what you want from Glaminatrix, I would say. Um, and yeah, I just go for it every time I have a formal event or like I'm a music teacher, so I've had some competitions I've taken students to that I've used this for. It's just a lovely go-to that looks good every single time. So reliable. Love it. That being said, it does not uh, make me feel very creative because it's all neutral. So that's why the other two are ranked higher than that. And number two, speaking of my favorite shimmer formula ever, Adept Cosmetics, the Minka palette. I finally got this into my collection and used it. Um, I'll leave the video linked actually where I used this in my recent testing new indie makeup video. And goodness gracious, um, I think I tried, what was it, Maya, I think in that video? Maybe it was Emma. It might have been Emma. I'm not sure. I've tried this multiple times since making that video. Um, Selena, I used this with a burgundy from the Haunted palette. Match made in heaven. I had so many compliments on my makeup that day. And these even like smoother formulas that are not my favorite shimmer formula. The shiftiness on them is really good though. But this kind of like textured, hopefully you can see formula, like the, the texture of most of these shimmers. Love it so much. Um, and I know I used Layla in a look recently with, did I do brown and purple? I don't know. I don't know. I've used this many times is just, I guess, what I'm getting to. And I've loved it every time. Loved every single shade. The only reason it is not number one is because I do feel like it is a companion palette without having that many shimmers, which I love that many shimmers, but I don't want a purple matte with it every time. And that's the only matte that this palette offers. So I do have to like pick and pull to put things together, which is fine for me. But as like a standalone palette, I didn't feel like it could be number one because of that. But in number one, from Glaminatrix is this lovely palette. I don't know if you can even see the title on this kind of leather packaging. This is the Sugar and Spice palette. This also has some textured shimmers, which we haven't, I don't think, seen from Glaminatrix before. It's always been this very, like, smooth formula here. Hopefully you can see the difference between how smooth this shimmer is and the texture of this one. So we have some different shimmer formulas in this one, and we have more of the, like, putty kind in here as well. So we have putty ones, textured ones, smooth ones, shiftiness, um, and then some basic mattes. And we also have some pops of color, which I feel like is really fun for spring. Again, this is the sugar and spice um, nutmeg. This neutral one has probably been my most used shimmer, but basil, I did that one for Easter, was really, really fun. Can't wait to play with this more. Yeah, vanilla is like green looking on the eye with like a blue shift. Very unexpected. What you see in the pan is not necessarily always what you get with the eyes, and I love that. Um, my only complaint about this particular palette, I think, is that the box, like the unicorn it came in, I had to like rip it to get it out of it. I think I talked about that in another video, uh, maybe in my haul, indie haul video. I'll leave that linked. Um, but this feels super luxe. I love the pan size. They're not like ginormous. I don't need ginormous pans. This is like perfect for me. Um, and this one I like better than the Nearly Natural. Who would have thought I would ever say anything else from Glaminatrix topped it? But this one has. This one has for me. It's really good. I don't know if they have this palette anymore, but even if the palette's gone, they usually keep the singles kicking around for a while on their site. So you might be able to get it in singles and stick them in a Z palette or something. But yeah, guys, those are the six palettes I use this month. Not a ton, but I'm super happy with all of them and love all of them. They're all uh, like loved things in my collection. 
and yeah um we'll see what next month holds i have some other indie things that i bought earlier in the year that i haven't used yet so i'm going to try to get to those and include those like for example on my eyes today is the nimia the palette from nimia it's just called the palette which is very strange um but from Nim nimia um which is nikki tutorials brand so that and more will be in next month's ranking stick around so you don't miss out on future videos thanks so much if you made it all the way to the end and i hope to see you again at my next video. Bye!